The countdown to 2021 on New Year's Eve will look very different than years past. Bars and restaurants are still under COVID-19 restrictions in Kentucky, but some of them are still planning celebrations to ring in the new year. Tonight, Gebra Gedgis is talking to them. Since the pandemic started, bars and restaurants have had to adapt to changes to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. So this Thursday will be no different, but they're finding creative ways to ring in the new year. We do have indoors. Uh, we are open today at four. Like every four restaurant and no, bar in Kentucky, this. Great Flood in Middletown has to serve at 50% capacity indoors and stop at 11 p.m., something they least expected when they first opened in the first month of 2020. We had a lot of takeaways from that initial period of time being full open at 100% capacity. Uh, we're very excited to kind of get back to that point. Zach Barnes is the managing partner of Great Flood. He says they'll open their doors on New Year's Eve at 1130 in the morning, but the countdown to 2021 will be a few hours early. Doing the ball drop and uh, New Year's celebrations at 7 p.m. Uh, this e uh, the evening of New Year's Eve and uh, really just kind of doing our part to allow us to celebrate uh, with our customers that have been uh, so gracious to support us through this year. But we'll find something somewhere, a fireworks show, uh, to stream uh, through the TV and through uh, the speakers. But across the river in Indiana, there is no 11 p.m. curfew. Parlor in New Albany plans to stay open until at least 2 a.m. Outside of that, you know, it's just basically following the same things everybody else is to keep everybody safe. They opened this location a month before 2020, and they were planning for a different countdown to 2021 until the pandemic changed everything. Kind of like a blowout party for New Year's Eve, um, but that was, of course, pre pandemic thinking or if COVID was going to be finished by the time New Year's came around. But the celebration will still happen on Thursday, pandemic style. We'll be able to at least put, um, you know, New York City on TV and we'll be able to watch that and we'll make sure that the volume's turned up and things like that so we can all celebrate together. We're expecting to have a good turnout and we're going to make sure we keep everybody safe and socially distanced and hopefully still have a good time. For WHES 11 News, I'm Sanite Gabriel